What's going on YouTube? Infamous Beats here. Back with the, another tutorial and this one is actually the tutorial I think a lot of you were waiting for and especially I would have been waiting for when I was trying to figure out how to place the PayPal button inside my sound click layout. See the player was not hard at all. I mean I don't really know that much about CSS but you know I figured that out little by little trial and error and so trying it out firsthand and then mm, the player was okay but then the PayPal button was super hard to place I couldn't really get it and uh, but finally I did get it so I have uh, my own custom uh, CSS file um, and uh, I'm gonna break it down to you and explain exactly how it works and how to place everything correctly inside your sound click layout all right so I'm gonna open up the the actual file so this is the file as you can see from my from my screen everything is like um, different colors and everything because this is a CSS editor and I do suggest you get one yourself because otherwise it's gonna look all black the code is the same it doesn't make a difference but the way you see it, it's um, like this is much easier because it's easier to understand what's an attribute, what's an actual object and everything else. If you see everything in black, like this, the code is exactly the same, but you see it's not indented and it's much harder to read and to understand. So I suggest you just open up um, you just open it up, this CSS file, open, open with, and then you can click on um, on whatever uh, HTML editor or um, other CSS editor. I have Editra, uh, which is available online for free. So you just look up Editra. You can download it and like this, it's much easier to understand what you're actually looking for. Not that easy if you don't know what you're talking about, but it's easier. So I started off watching the actual CSS that um, you get from the page design, the actual template that was already loaded. This is mine, let me refresh. From the stylish white one. And this is what you get with, the, with any VIP page. I was studying a little bit what the different components were and uh, I managed to come up after a little bit of effort with this file, which will be available for purchase for $1.99. So some parts you don't need to touch. Like for example, this tag cloud, you don't need to touch. Uh, the first part that you can edit is actually the background image, as you see here. And uh, for my background image, I uploaded, uh, my, I did my own layout and then I uploaded it to my Dropbox. And uh, if you do upload it to Dropbox, be sure to put it public because otherwise um, it's not uh, available. And so even if you put your, your, the path to the image inside here, the actual image won't show. So the first thing you can do is, um, in this line right here is you can uh, customize and uh, put in your own path I wrote this example right here so you just type in whatever side like whatever you have it on like HTTP Y frog or whatever whatever side you have for your images and then you just go my sound click background dot jpeg this could either be a jpeg or a png whatever you like better i personally used um jpeg and that's what it's going to look like so by doing this this will actually be your background image then you can set if you want the image to only show once you don't need to repeat so i want it to show only once and uh, i put no repeat if you want it to tile more, then you put repeat. And then you can set all the width and the height according to your image size. And uh, this is the alignment. 
and this other stuff doesn't really matter. So that's the first part you can edit. Now this part below is pretty much all sound click um, standard stuff. So you don't really need to touch anything about this. And uh, this part actually, this right here, this is the money. This is the first major part that you need. And then the other major part is the PayPal button. So the player positioning, this part, you don't need to touch. This is the font size, you don't need to touch either. What you can personalize is the margin. The position has to be set to absolute, which is the default, so it's okay. The margin from the left actually determines the distance of the um, of the player exactly from the left. So you see here it's 154 pixels. If you put, as you can also read inside the, the description that I made, um, if you if you set it higher, what it does if uh, for example if you set it to 200, it will move the player from left to right further right. So 150 is 150 from the left, and then 200 will be 50 pixels more to the right. So 50 pixels further from the left. That sounds a little bit hard to understand, but the lower the number, the closer to the left side of the screen, pretty much. And uh, the other thing you can set is this. And this is actually the other important coordinate that you get. This is the, mm, the distance from the top of the page. So pretty much if you, these are the two margin left and top of the page are the ones that you use to move your, your player around. And how do you actually get these right? Well, you just try a little bit, you know, you start focusing on one and then you see um, little by little, don't make big changes, but just like subtle changes. And then until you get it perfect, till it, fit, till it fits in the, um, the layout that you made. The width is pretty much standard, so you don't need to touch that. Um, this part is the interview and the headline. You don't really need the licensing page. You don't really need either. This part, the song box is pretty standard. You don't need to touch anything, but you can actually customize the background image of your single song box. Like you did with the background in the beginning, you just put in the URL and this way you can have an image in the back of every single entry of the extended production catalog. So that would mean this part right here. Okay, now we go to the hard part. That was just the easy part, you know? Because the thing is that this, this beat store, the PayPal button is inside another table. So this, uh, the embedded player was standing by itself so it was, it was a lot easier to place. But with the, with the PayPal button, we need to do something else. So the first thing we need to do is actually go back to your interview page, as I showed you in the, in the tutorial before, that uh, I'm gonna post the link now. I'm gonna go to edit page, interview, and you see these two lines right here. And this is just the, the standard, this is just the, um, the PayPal code. This is the code for the button, the one that you get. And look at my other tutorial, you can see it there. But the, the most important part, I'm gonna clear this out for a little bit for now and just put PayPal button code to make you understand what I mean. These parts right here, these and these two are exactly what I was trying to, to find out for freaking hours at a time. You see this? It will create um, a table around the form that contains the button and uh, I'm gonna name the ID of the table is PayPal. 
because PayPal here will then be defined as an attribute right here. And this is exactly the point. This is what I was trying to find for fucking, and I couldn't even find it. I had to figure everything out by myself. So that was hard, actually. No, no problem saying it. I don't really care. That was fucking hard for me. But anyways, so you see, the thing is that um, the CSS is pretty much a language that defines the attribute of the HTML page. This pretty much means that once you create the table, you can you cannot set the table, the table properties in here. That wouldn't make any sense. You cannot do that. So the only way is you create the, the table here and then you set the properties of the table by referencing the table name PayPal. And that's why it has to be the same. This will define all the attributes of the, um, of the table. And you see the positioning is absolute. Uh, this is not really necessary. You don't really need this, but it's okay. Uh, the top of the page, the top of the, um, the table, the color of the background, and this is the alignment. This, this is where the important part starts. So uh, the alignment goes to percentage. So I did 60%. That means that it's already slightly to the left of the screen. And uh, the margin from the point of the actual alignment is 195 pixels. So that's, that means that um, as for the song player, this part is pretty much the same. So the, the higher you set the margin from the left, the more to the right the player will move. So the further from the left it will go. The most important part is this one right here. So the margin works the same as the song box player, but this part here is what makes the difference. So you can see right here, there's a minus. And that's what makes the most difference of everything because you this, this is actually starting the top. It's not starting from the top. It's actually starting from the bottom. So what that does is uh, you will use a negative, negative um, coefficient. So by increasing this negative coefficient, instead of going from the top further down, this will actually go the other way around. So if you put like, uh, for example, minus 1000, that means that uh, it will go further up, not further down. So it will move more towards the top of the page rather than the bottom of the page. If instead the coefficient wouldn't have been negative, the higher you would put it, the further down it would go. And that's the, that's, this right here is the core of everything. So once you figure that out, I, I actually stressed this already a lot in the description as well. So once you figure that out, you can just do, you can just go by trial and error and uh, you can have your page finally looking like this. It took me like, I don't know, maybe like three or four days to figure this out, but I managed to pull it out and uh, yeah, it was worth it. That was what I was looking for and couldn't find nowhere internet, whatever. If I had to go through uh, actual CSS tutorials and figure this shit out myself. So um, there are two ways we can do this. Either you can um, pretty much copy, you can pretty much pause everything and rewrite everything. But actually, I don't suggest that. And the other thing you can do is uh, get to your PayPal and uh, it's $1.99. I mean, now you know how to do it, but copying all this would be, I think, a hell of a hassle. I would have paid like freaking $20 if, 
<laughs> that would have saved me like three days straight. So this is all available for $1.99. If you want to get at it, just go on my sound click. You see, this is the sound click. My sound click page. This is my new beat or whatever. And uh, you just get to the beat store and you go to the very last one. And you see here it says SoundClick CSS code for 199. So you just select that and you just type here CSS and then you click on buy now. And then you get forwarded to your PayPal and whatever you, you dial in your your username and password and you go log in and, and like this I will get an email and I will forward um, all the files and everything right directly to your inbox. So aside from that, I also work on, on uh, SoundClick layouts for $15. If you want, you can, we can work something out. Still just select the um, SoundClick layout right here. It's the one before the last one. So you just click this one and whatever you write like layout and buy now and uh, like this you get the layout from me and you might get a discount and get the, the CSS directly or I could actually do everything for you and set the page up already so that's it that's the end of the tutorial I hope it was helpful just get at me leg out